Hello everyone, welcome back to CJ Explores. In this vlog, we're exploring the beautiful Greek island of Milos and we're doing it in this little electric car. It is very, very quiet here on Milos at the moment. We're in the second week of October and it is the end of the tourist season. Summer has finished and people are sort of winding down, some businesses are closing, restaurants are closing, and some of the tour operators are closing as well. But that does mean that we do get some bargains from the ones that are still open. The accommodation is cheap, the rentals are cheap, and the tours are cheap. We have come to Plaka now. I believe this is actually the highest point or the highest little town on Milos. Um, right at the top of the hill, there is a chapel. Um, and we are going to come here for a little coffee before we continue the rest of our adventure around Milos. We have found such a cute cafe called Mosaic. I actually went to a different cafe and I looked up and Corey was like, I really like their crochet walls. So we had a quick look and we were like, oh, the menu looks actually quite nice because there was nothing for us to eat at every cafe. And we came up here and we've got like this rooftop area with these big beautiful bean bags and the view is absolutely amazing. Chocolatey, how I like it. <laughs> I love these uh, plates. The mosaic theme is running through, isn't it? Yeah. I love this cup too, that's gorgeous. Um, the coffee, amazing. Coconut cappuccino, very, very tasty. Yeah, definitely recommend this spot if you're gonna explore Plucker. Get some nice views on this rooftop here. It's just beautiful. Well, this is a lovely little cafe. Highly recommend it. But now, let's go explore more. We are at the catacombs of Milos now and they were originally called the Greek Caves um, and apparently there are 2,000 Christians buried here um, but unfortunately these were raided and looted um, before archaeologists could come and survey the area but it is open, it is 4 euros to go in so we are going to go and have a cheeky little look So the Guardian will take you down into the catacombs and there are three tombs down here, A, B and C. And we got to explore A and B and there are some big family tombs there. It's just amazing. So this cave actually took five centuries to complete. It was constructed using pickaxes, iron pickaxes and other tools. Um, but it would have taken a long time. Now the reason for these catacombs is that Romans were persecuting Christians. Christians wanted to practice their religion and practice the special way that they would treat their dead. And it was very well hidden here in the hills. It was all covered in olive trees and there was just this tiny little cave entrance which they would go inside and it would just be this whole network of caves where all of the dead were buried. Very amazing, very impressive and so interesting. far from the catacombs is this ancient theatre so as you can see behind me it looks like it's um, been slightly restored but you can definitely see how it used to be there and what an amazing location for a theatre with that view. As I'm talking I can actually hear the echo of my voice it's works so well and my voice sounds seems so loud to me right now it's like bouncing off all of these walls it's such a awesome location isn't it it's a roman theater not a greek theater so i guess it was from when the romans occupied now this is free to visit, it's right near the catacombs, so if you're going to go to the catacombs you might as well come here and see this awesome theatre. Um, that is the passageway we actually came through when we came on the ferry, so we're going to go around more of Melos now, let's go and explore.
Okay, we have just arrived at one of these tiny little fishing villages. It is called Paralia Fidopotamus. And there are some ancient ruins up here. The water looks absolutely stunning. And it seems there's lots of places which you can access the water from, jumping in. But I think we're gonna go up there first and take a little look at the ruins. And then uh, maybe we'll get in the water. It looks so inviting. What a place. beautiful like a rocky outcrop landscape behind it and the water just looks gorgeous so inviting <laughs> this is a really cute little place isn't it i think yeah. it's a lovely spot to come if it's one like an afternoon or a little day by the beach like a snack bar a little beach snack bar i'm not sure if they do more than just snacks um Couple maybe the convention here, but it's such a nice like day destination and a really relaxing day. Yeah. Lovely. How cute is this? We have come to another fishing village and it has all these little boat houses like carved into the cliffside. Beautiful sheltered little harbour. All these little villages we're going to are so small, but they're all very like picturesque and postcard perfect like Milos is a very traditional old authentic Greek island it only really started to get international visitors after 2010 so it's still developing and up and coming in like the um, tourism world but at the moment it's really lovely because you do get a couple of nice cafes and accommodation um, but you also have a really beautiful authentic side to it as well We've got an illegal passenger. <laughs> Literally, we were pulling up when this little cat ran towards us and I was like, we can't drive, it's way too close to us. I opened the door and it just jumped in. It's still quite young, so I'm not sure if it's just lonely or wants some food. Hey little baby, you're very cute. Oh my god, I was so worried, but there's a whole family of cats there, so it must be where it's come from. Literally just where we've parked. So, and they all look like they're in good shape and there's actually some bowls there. I think someone's looking after them because they don't look like undernourished at all. Okay, I was very, I was like, we have to go. We can't go and swim. We can't have to go and take this baby somewhere. But there's got quite a few siblings up there. Hoping mommy's around. Well, I'm very, very excited now because we have come to one of the beaches which Milos is most famous for. This is the spot. If you were going to take a picture of Milos, this would be it. It is Saracanico Beach and it is like the cliff jumping mecca of the Greek islands apparently. It's like a moonscape, you can just climb all over, there are natural arches and it's this really unique white rock. I'm actually not sure what it is, could it be limestone maybe? There's a lot of mining on Melos because of the unique stone here and as you can see this is such a unique landscape so we're gonna go find some spots to explore, have a little jump. There's also a shipwreck here as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna snorkel that. We'll go and take a look. Very unique area here, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't actually think there's a beach. I think it's just like a lay on the rocks area. Woohoo! Bit wavy. Yeah, a bit wavy. Bit too wavy for me. A lot of trash too, I guess, from like the recent wind and the waves or like the sea being all chopped up. Well, I just jumped off Saracanico and it was so nice. The water's really clear under there, but unfortunately there's a lot of rubbish. I think it's because we have this northerly, it's blowing in all the rubbish, which is just collecting from maybe different islands or just out in the ocean. Um, tried to clean some up, but it's pretty futile with how much rubbish there actually is here. The jump is awesome. It's really safe. There's about six or seven meters of water underneath, so you're not gonna hit the bottom, but 
What a spot. Let's go to the next one. Okay, next stop is Sagrado Beach and it is on the south side of the island. This is the first time we've come to the south side. A little bit more sheltered because we have a northerly at the moment, so hopefully it's going to be nice down there. Some other people walking up the path just told us that there's actually no sun down there, but it is kind of like a secret beach, so we want to go check it out anyway. If it's really good, we'll come back in the sunshine. We didn't go to that beach, but when we put the drone up, we saw this spot and oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Flurry Packer Beach. It's called Flurry Packer, Ferry. Ferry Packer. Ferry Packer. It's called Ferry Packer Beach and it's absolutely stunning, especially this time of the day. You can see like it's got a really unusual landscape. There's like this white and slightly red cliffside. There's some lounges down there. I've spotted a doggy. And the ocean is very nice and tranquil. Absolutely beautiful for an afternoon swim. So we're gonna grab our snorkel kit and finally I'm gonna go in the water. So another one of the top destinations to go here on Milos Island is Cliftico. It's this unique um, stacks of rocks that are like just on the south coast, actually a little bit further west from here. Um, we haven't had a chance to do that on this trip. It's usually a sailing trip from Adamas or one of the other ports, but from here you can actually rent your own boat. You don't need a license and you can just go all around the coast, go to Cliftico and explore yourself. So if like us you've made that mistake, you can do it from here. We asked how much the uh, lounges was to be in Brill and it's 20 euros. It's quarter to six, they close at seven, still 20 euros. So we're just sitting on the beach. The well, water's very clear. It's very lovely, it's really shallow though. I'm not sure there'll be many fishies around here. That was such a good spot. If we can recommend a sunset spot, it is right here. Such a good little beach to snorkel around, the rocks, you've got some food there, expensive sunbeds and umbrellas. Dog. <laughs> and a dog, how lovely. We just made it back up to the car park and look at that. The sun's actually gonna set behind the hills here, but just in this last, like late afternoon light, the sunset is amplified by these cliffs here. They're kind of like, white and orangey or reddish so you get like double gold <laughs> it's just so beautiful and the water very clear very very clear here mm. that's the end of our day in our little electric car we've had a lot of fun yes um these cars are great actually uh, we did charge it but i don't think we actually needed to it's got a range of 75 kilometers so it doesn't sound like a lot but it's not a big island to explore um, and if you just pick a few destinations, um, you'll be able to make it to all of them without needing a charge. That's just cute. And it turns heads. What a cool little buggy. How cool is this? Well, we were supposed to leave Milos yesterday, but we're still here. 
Uh, we're absolutely loving it. So we've extended our stay and because we had a few windy days, we didn't get to adventure everywhere we want to do in our one day little electric car hire day. So we have got a scooter and we're going to some more locations. The first one today is this incredible cliff site. It's called Papa Fragas Caves and it has a really incredible landscape. And here you can just park up and explore the sea caves. This is a really cool place. So these sea caves have been carved out, I guess, by the wave action over uh, centuries, thousands, millennia. Um, there's a long cavern, which has a little beach at the end and it goes right out to the ocean. Um, but also inside the rock, like the main headland here, there is like, there's actually a door with some bars. Not sure if it's a jail or a house or <laughs> what. So right next to Papa Fraga's caves, there's actually more caves and it's just before the turn off if you're coming from the main town. Look at this, it's just beautiful. Lots of like little sea caves, private beaches. Unfortunately, it is a little bit Instagram versus reality because everyone's gonna take the photo with that nice sea cave and probably disregard all the trash down on the beach. Uh, the northern winds bringing in trash off the ocean and they're just sort of piling up on the beach. We did try and clean some up the other day, but it is, um, it's tricky. We made it back to Sagrado Beach now and the sun is shining right down into the cove. So we are gonna take the sketchy ladder access down. And Charlotte is a little bit nervous about it. Ah! But um, people have done it, so we are gonna go and give it a go. Let's see. Time to climb the ladders. Who's first? You. Me. Sacrifice me. Please, you go, go first. Uh, you have a rope here, okay. just below, so you know. Yeah. So maybe just sit down and then take the rope and then twist around. The rest of us should be okay. Yeah, I'm really bad with heights. It's not like I got a handrail, it's like low, lower yourself onto the ladder. Just stop talking. There's no ladder. <laughs> this is really bad if you got vertigo. <laughs> Did you do it? You made it to the beach, well done. I made it. It was scary. <laughs> Not for the faint hearted. Probably would have backed out, probably wasn't there to be honest. <laughs> but we're here now. Have a snack, go for a swim, for a snorkel kit. Fishies actually. There's some big fish, yeah. I tried to catch them, but they're way too fast. It's so clear, it's amazing. Wait, Are you wait. cold, Corey? It's a bit fresh. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this little vlog on Milos Island in Greece. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing. We really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!